My name is Daniel Hegele from Elastic.io and today I want to show you a simple integration from SAP by design to Shopware. And um, here you can see our dashboard from Elastic.io from our platform. You can log in for free and test it out if you want to check it out. And here you can see the data records that were transferred today, yesterday and the last seven days. You can also see a run log. And what I want to do today is um, bring those products here from SAP by design, um, some of those products to Shopware. So basically to here to the items in Shopware. Here you can see the backend of Shopware and the, all the products that are available. And I want to transfer them from SAP by design to here. So um, the use case could be if you have like um, an ERP, like SAP by design, um, ERP system or uh, Navision, Microsoft Navision or something like this, and you want to um, update your products and keep them updated, then you can just use our integration platform and it's very, very easy to set up. And I show you how. So um, to do that, I create a new flow we call it flow so it's an in integration from one system to another so i just click here on add new flow and i click on the plus sign and you can see here all the different system stars that are available in our platform and for example for erp systems you can have like microsoft dynamics navision on premise or sap by design that's what i want to use now and I want to transfer the products. So I pick the products here. And I want to transfer them to Shopware. And I want to create a new product or update the products. And I click OK and on Next. And here you can see um, the login for SAP by design. So if you want to. Um, log in you have to um, you need your service or your username and your password i already um, of course saved that so i can just pick it here if you save your login you just you can reuse it um, as often as you want and i can choose here the products that's uh, specific to sap by design so i'm choosing the master products and now I need the sales organization ID and the distribution channel code from SAP by design. So I just click here on mini football and see what, for example, this product has for has a different um, sales organization ID. So here you can see the sales organization. So I pick the one from Berlin. So it's 2100. Two one zero zero two one zero zero and the distribution channel code I will pick the indirect sales. So it's zero two. And now I just you can see on the left side you can see all the different um, fields in SAP by design. And I also have to use my Shopware, pick my Shopware account. You can use that as well here. You just have to use your Shopware domain, your login and your API key. I already um, saved that here. So the tax is required and in Germany it's normally 90%. So I just um, type it in manually. And now I need what is important here is the ID. So I have the internal ID from SRP by design and the external ID field from Shopware. So I just have to drag and drop here to connect them. And what's also really important is the name. So I will use here description in English for the name. Just drag and drop. It's pretty easy. And you can like connect different keys as many as you want for this example i just use the name and the id so and here you can schedule when do you want to transfer and how often you want to transfer the data 
Normally it's every three minutes, but you can also pick one per hour, per day, week, month, year, and so on. And now I just click on continue. And here you can see I created a new flow, SAP by design to Shopware. And I will start that now. And normally if you wanna do it professionally, like to have to create different flows from SAP by design to Shopware um, because it's kind of complicated to set it up. But here you can see it already um, transferred data. So I just click on here. And you also can see um, that like one data record was split up in 20 products. So it's um, especially like SAP data design is, has a very complex API. So it's we um, just separate one data record here to, into 20 and it already created one product in Shopware. So we have to reload and you can see it's already 17. 19 and we can see that here in Shopware if we reload the page we can see all the different products that were transferred from the ERP system SAP by design to Shopware so it takes a little bit while but here you can see the mini football and the number so the ID the baby shirt and so on and so on and they are not active right now and I'd have to, I can do that now. And you can also hear the text 19%. So um, that's pretty much it. Now it's done. So it's 20 records. You, you Normally you, you can also see if there happens a mistaken error or something like this, You we will monitor everything here. You can see that and you can see why it the um, error happened or why the tr data wasn't transferred but right now um, everything worked perfectly so i hope you um, enjoy this and see how this can help you thank you very much